Today is the day, finally. I have Alex, a stylist, coming to help me out with my wardrobe. For those of you who don't know, I hired the Charlie Goss styling team to elevate my look and wardrobe. This overhaul package costs around $2,000 plus whatever your shopping budget is. Right now, let's go through the three day process and at the end I'll tell you my honest thoughts on if I think this was worth the money or if they have a better service that would suit you better. I'm just quickly doing my makeup before she gets here. You know when you're ready to level up in life? I'm literally sweating. I went with a two piece set. I would describe my style as comfortable, easy, so if I can avoid wearing a bra, what I would like my style to be is a little more intentional, sophisticated, classy. I'm going to try to film as much as humanly possible. I did clean up my room a little bit, but I've put my shoes out just so it's easier. I don't know how it works with her other clients. Are they just running down the stairs? And then I have two bins at the back. One bin will be for donation. One will be to hopefully like resell, maybe the higher end stuff. We shall see. This is my closet before Alex. I've kind of got like sweatpants and everything at the top. That's kind of like loungewear or heavy knits. I've color coded, but I really don't think this is serving me. So I think we're gonna actually end up organizing in like tank tops, t-shirts, sweaters, because everything's mixed up, although it looks good. On this side, we've got some pants. Like I still have things with tags on it, just in case she doesn't improve. <laughs> There's no reason I shouldn't have anything to wear, you know what I mean? And then I've kind of got my dressy, fancier stuff on this side. And then on this side of the closet, oh man, I can't wait to get my floors done to actually create a built-in closet here. But I've got like the fancier blazers here, fancier work shirts, like, you know, collared dress shirt. I'm really hoping Alex can just fill in the blanks for me. I do feel like I kind of get what's trending, what works and what doesn't, but when I put it together, I think the proportions are off. Like the top should balance out the bottom. Like I've never thought about it that way before. So when we're incorporating like lug sole boots now, it's getting complicated because am I supposed to balance that out with like shoulder pads? What if I don't feel like wearing shoulder pads? Okay, I think she's here. We got to work right away. Keep in mind that I've already purged my closet about four times before the overhaul even started. Also, I did fill out a questionnaire ahead of time so Alex had an idea of the direction I wanted to go in. Overall, the best part of this process is that we separated my work wardrobe from my regular day-to-day -day one. So now I have two functional wardrobes. Then I tried on a lot of my new items and the main feedback was that I can wear whatever I want. And although I love that mentality, my goal is cohesion and sharpness. And I just feel like I need techniques for that. I wanted to learn how to identify shapes and silhouettes. I wanted to learn how to dress for my body shape and go that direction. I'm not saying I didn't come out with tips along the way, but I think I'm just ready for like a level two version of the closet makeover. Anyway, we tossed a bunch of items and yes, they are not recent purchases, but I would have liked to dive deeper into why it is no longer worth keeping. So Alex just left. It's a mess in my room. <laughs> And I've got to now organize it, but I don't feel like it. So what came up from all of this is I feel like I have two lives. I've got my film life and I have my life here. That's why I want to go for quick items like this long knit sweater. It just works. I don't have to think about it. It's trending. I wouldn't necessarily wear it to work, but it's just as easy as a sweatsuit for me. Plato's Closet is a great place to resell your clothes and whatever they don't take, I tend to drop off to a donation center. Consignment stores have really come in handy, so I encourage you to check them out if you haven't already. Typically on day two, you go shopping with your stylist, get a whole bunch of pieces, and then on the third visit, you kind of merge the new pieces with what you have at home. But I have so many items that I told her, if we can just skip them all, make them all next time, see what we can make work here, with what I already have. I feel confident in what I've purchased. I just wanted different ideas of how to mix and match other than my standard like monochromatic outfit with like a funky topper, you know what I mean? I wanna play around with textures, different things that I wouldn't go for. And I think that's what today was all about. Plus it's just good to have two minds. I do feel like at some point we were thinking the same things. So I do feel like I'm on the right pathway. 
So the sticky notes that you see here is what I kind of pulled out ahead of time. She did not tell me to do this. And I just essentially wrote down like different events that are coming up that I want her to pull outfits for. And I think it worked out really well because then when she was doing the flat lays of outfits, just so we took photos so I can remember what we did today. So I wrote down everything from mall day skating, day out with the kids, day out with the boyfriend, family birthdays, just so I have some options. And then we laid it out. Overall, I'm happy with the experience. I'm curious to see what our mall day is gonna be like. I'm thinking about like putting all my outfits slash items in a fashion app. So if you have used a fashion app where you can kind of build your wardrobe that way, definitely considering it, so let me know. Do I feel like I'm learning a lot? I could have essentially done this myself with Pinterest, putting it out, but it's always nice to have someone that A, is accountable, can tell you the little details because yeah, you can pull from a photo, but the way you roll a sleeve or tuck in a pant, there are specific like fashion hacks that I was missing that I feel like filled in the gaps. Generally, we don't want the pant to sit here. Ever. We want to see some of this. You look like a New Yorker. Yeah. You look like a New York a transcender. And then yeah, we're gonna roll our sleeves like this for a concert. Yeah. Out. yeah, I do like this, this a lot. This is really cute. I I could see myself wearing all of this. I love this. Because it's comfortable. Yeah. It's still a little something more than the huge. Yeah. Yeah, you look like... Yeah, this would work. And it would also work with those yeah. shoes. Cause... Yeah. Let me get to the third day. Let me clean up this mess first. Let me get to our third day and then we can chat about final realizations slash conclusions. Our shopping day for the closet makeover and closet audit is here. First stop is Aritzia. Fun fact, whenever I go shopping, I make sure to wear easy undergarments that I can throw on whether or not I have access to a change room. This tank is from NYX and I'll leave a code in the caption if you're looking to update some of your staples. Anyway, I made a list during our last styling appointment of things that were missing in my wardrobe, so we got those. The only thing Alex really pulled for me that I wouldn't have selected myself are these boots, which I now ended up returning, as they sort of look outdated to me. I also want you to keep in mind that I have two separate wardrobes, so although this was going towards the work boot direction, I still want to be fashionable and functional. I am looking for boots that have 2 inch heels or less, that were waterproof, and more on the winter side. So here are my final thoughts on the overhaul closet makeover service. This is for someone who wants assistance with their wardrobe but doesn't have the time to organize, shop, or style. I personally had the capacity for the first two, which is why I think I really just needed the styling portion of this experience. I also want to state that my expectations are high. Alex was accommodating. I'm just looking for more, which is why I've now signed up for a fashion course and even an interior design program. I really want to understand balance, proportion, color theory, and so forth. So I'd rate this experience a 7 out of 10 because it helped me explore my love of fashion. And even though I've worked with stylists in the film industry before, this time it was all about me and not my character. What do you think? Is this closet audit with styling hacks an experience you'd want to do? I want to mention that Charlie Goss has a style membership that I'm part of and tons of free content on her IG pages as well. Following Charlie's Instagram in itself is worth my overhaul investment, and I do not say that lightly. Let me know if you have any questions or if I missed something, and let's do this again soon, okay?